Back again with the Muse, talking about oscillator sync. <laughs> Oh, this is a classic oscillator sync sound. Lovely. So I'll do an init patch and I'll show you how it's made. So I was very confused about oscillator sync for a lot of time. This mysterious little button here. You press it and nothing really happens. So you've got one oscillator, two oscillators, and play around with different things and there's nothing happening. But the thing you'll notice, because you're synchronizing uh, oscillator two, oscillator sort of one from two, if I change the pitch, of oscillator two, it's not actually changing the pitch. It's bringing in, let's turn that up. Bringing in different harmonics. Now the classic way to do this is to sweep the frequency of the oscillator you're using to sync with a fil with an envelope. In this case, I'll use the filter envelope. So I'll use the assign button, assign it to this one, give it full beans, and hit enter. And now, you get that classic scream. Now the thing with this is if you have the same type of oscillator on the same kind of uh, octave range, it seems to lose, it loses a lot of that because what, what it's doing is where there's a difference, it's, it's bringing the, the oscillators in sync. And I won't give you a technical explanation of it, but I know what it sounds like. So if I bring this one down, and then make that one a, uh, a sawtooth. Now you're going to get a full effect. Now you might find that that sweeps a bit too piercing at the top end, so we can go across here and let's just bring it, bring it down a bit. Of course, I can bring the other one later in to give it more fatness. And then detune and unison. Probably a bit loud, this. Oh, it's just a bit loud. add a little bit of vibrato to it so we will assign uh, the mod wheel to the amount of vibrato oh, hold on a minute there you go enter Nice. And another thing that 
works quite well is instead of actually modulating it with the um, the envelope if you modulate it with an LFO go back to LFO 1 by timbral by sorry by directional not by timbral that's a bit that's a bit weird but if you put it on a sample and hold sounds a bit sort of wavetable like unison's a bit mad for that Really quite unique thing about the Muse is the LFOs, the LFO over here, has this thing called a function source. So, so if you want, instead of having a sample and hold that immediately changes and you want to actually uh, have it slew, so it'll actually um, slide between values, then you can use this. bringing in that sync sound randomly. So there's oscillator sync. So as a recap, what you have to do is, on the Muse, sweep oscillator 2's frequency to get that classic oscillator sync sound. And then you can modulate that with any of the sources you've got on the keyboard to create some really interesting... Classic sounds. Now the other thing that might go a bit crazy is if I put the LFO type to per voice, then you're going to have each voice having its own sync settings, so sync randomness.
That might be a bit too much. Why not? Depends what you want. See you on the next video.